Hello everyone and welcome back to the Happy Go Lucky Scamps channel on YouTube. My name is Mike and today I'm actually joined by a special guest, um, Alex Newell. Hello. Uh, Alex has come down to us from Rusty Quill, uh, which is a podcast available on the iTunes store at the moment. So we'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Um, Alex, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you normally do? Yeah, sure. So um, I, the company's called Rusty Quill and we do the Rusty Quill Gaming Podcast where we get a bunch of comedians together and then play extended tabletop campaigns. So it's a bunch of funny people playing uh, RPGs and really trying hard not to kill one another without much success, if I'm honest. And I'm assuming that you mean kill people IRL. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's LARP and we give them real guns. Um, and just let them roam free throughout London. Um, Perfect. Yeah, it's it's very popular amongst the GTA crowd. I can believe it. It sounds absolutely terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, <clears throat> right, okay, so today, Alex, uh, you probably haven't done very much like this before. No. What we're going to do is I've got three, well, three games lined up for you that you're going to have a quick go at. And I'm probably going to jump in at some point as well, because these are three games that I... Uh, well, one of them I've never played before, but the other two I quite enjoy. Um, and we'll give them a go, we'll see how we get on, and then uh, once you're either fed up with them or you fancy a change, we can move on to the next one. And throw your computer out the window. And throw... what? What? <laughs> whoa, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa. I thought this was a rock and roll kind of thing. This, this is rock and roll, but there's rock and roll within limits, man. Ah, <sighs> fine. <laughs> okay, so... Um, the games you've got lined up are called Osmos, uh, Super Hexagon, and Zenbound. So, how much do you know about those three? Um, I know that Osmo Hexagon Bound sounds like a good band. Actually, it really does, doesn't well, that's, it? That's pretty much all I've got. Maybe this is something that we could establish. I, I feel it would get complicated quickly. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> also, people would start subdividing halfway through in some kind of <laughs> Buddhist manner. Um, uh, <laughs> And that would be interesting, but I'm, assure, I'm quite sure it would be alarming for everyone else watching. And my, me as well. Yay. <laughs> okay, so um, let's kick it off. Uh, shall we start with Osmos? Yeah, let's start with Osmos. All right, so welcome to Osmos, Alex. Ooh, I like it. It's glowy. It's very glowy. It's very shiny. Ooh. And people on my channel will probably know I have a reasonable affiliation with shiny things, so that's the reason why I chose this game for you. But it's bio-shiny. It's very bio-shiny. It's like... It's like looking into an organism. I feel like if I was a fungus looking, looking up at a scientist, this is what I'd see. I think you're actually right. And that's why we're going to play this game today. Yeah! So, um, pick a path. Uh, basically, there's three different paths that you can go down. Each one gives you a different kind of mission. I've played this game very briefly, which is why you can probably see some of these levels have been completed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it to you. You choose which path you want to go down. All right, I reckon we're going to go for this force reception. All right, force reception. Yeah. Click on your random globule, F10. Here we are. The Space, game. the final frontier. This isn't that. It's completely different. <laughs> it's the, actually, this is the opposite of that. <laughs> this, you couldn't really get any more opposite. This isn't even space. This oh, is I'm, just... I'm already terrified. Okay, so you move by clicking, essentially, and it's a game that you probably won't ever need the keyboard for. So ah. you just, yeah, you click away, you click to move, and every time you move, you get a little bit smaller. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. No. Ah. Okay, so the idea is essentially to become the biggest entity. So what you have to do is absorb everything else. Eat all the McDonald's. Eat all of the McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Eat all the McDonald's, Alex. I feel like I'm in an overambitious Christopher Nolan film. You, I think you might be, actually. If Christopher Nolan was here, he would very much enjoy this kind of setting, I think. Especially with the giant. Oh no! Evil you're thing huge, terrifying. <laughs> yeah, so move up a little bit. You got to move up and uh, and get some more of these things. Although in moving up, you also affect your orbit. Have you ever played the Kerbal Space Program? Oh, I feel like a sudden urge to to keep screaming out Jeb words. Just go for it. I do guys when I and then <laughs> smile a lot. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you finding Osmos so far? Um. I feel like I might fall asleep whilst playing the game, wake up and still be playing the game. Yeah. You see, that's exactly how I felt. Um, the only problem is, if you zoom out using the mouse wheel, you can actually see just how close to certain doom you actually are. And oh, that's, that's you know. one thing that's like a massive caffeine boost. 
is uh, you think you're safe, and then doom happens. Oh. Doom. Uh, d doom. Doom. Wait. The oh God, there's two dooms. There's there is multiple doom. There's doom in the middle and doom on the edge. Doom to the left of me, doom to the right, and here I am stuck in the middle of fungus in a petri dish. Exactly. Try try and aim for them if you can. I think the best. I don't. I didn't really devise a strategy for this. I mean, all I really did when I started playing this was just kind of keep clicking. Hmm. Um. And there you go. Ah! You are now the biggest thing in this universe. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you are. I, I might attack someone <laughs> out of the Petri dish. I don't know how, but I'm going to. <laughs> just, uh, just jump out. Can you imagine if you were in the middle of a science experiment, and the thing that you were trying to analyze that was like, say, for example, maybe not a fungus, maybe something more like, I don't know, a serpent, just kind of like jumped out at you from the petri dish. Why did you put a serpent in the petri dish? Because that's just the way I roll, Alex. It's how it's what I like to do. The deadly, deadly agar cobra. The agar cobra of the petri dish. Oh, this got very intense very quickly. So yeah, um, the the world that you've picked, I probably should have said, is actually uh, one of the more difficult worlds. Um, this route gives you a lot of different enemies that you come into contact with uh, quite frequently, and what you'll notice is they're all eating the same goop that you're eating and so you have to goop prior to them gooping so that you don't become goop. gooped need goop um oh god the other thing is um you have to get enough goop to get this shiny red thing over here which i'm pointing at but no one else can see <laughs> that i'm pointing <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you have to make sure that you become a big enough entity to get that. That's so the objective. So you lied to me. This isn't a goop sim. What it is, is it's a primary school sim. I have to grow big and strong so that finally I can be the bully. Exactly. Because that's how the schooling system works. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Alex. I believe in you as I usually believe in things. In a similar way to the way that I believe in other things, I believe in you. You can attack the goop. I become the goop. I, I become the goop. Become the goop. Become the goop. You're gonna no. no. I'm. I. I. I really should <laughs> investigate how big I am before I start charging. Right. <laughs> we got a new tactic here. Wait. At all times, yell the word banzai. Banzai. Da. Did, did <laughs> not. Was was not as as formidable a tactic as I'd hoped. <laughs> that's that's the shortest level I have ever seen in my <laughs> gaming history. Oh. <laughs> well, this is going everywhere. Yay! <laughs> I'm part of something dead. bigger now. That's all that matters. You're, you're now, and that's how communism works. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you want to give it one more go? This is my this is my last attempt to absorb the repulsor and become okay. the goop I was always meant to be. Become the goop that you were forever destined to be. Alex. I'm not the goop that the petri dish needs, and the goop that the petri dish deserves. Shall I give you a tip? Would you like a tip? Go for it. If you become the biggest thing in the planet, or in the petri dish, then... It'll fill the hole inside? It Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you don't necessarily fill the hole inside, but you fill enough of it so that you can push the repulsor into a corner. Oh, here we go. And then trap it. See, tactics. That's what you get. You get consumer oh. advice on this channel. This is how you play Osmos. Ah, that's all I need. <laughs> Basic thought. That's what was missing from my play style. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Now, oh, no, 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 become the gargantuan. Oh, I am so ready to attack the scientist. He's, all, he's all watching this going, oh, I think I found a cure for something. No, I'm a cure for your face. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm a cure for this, jumps out of Petri dish. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on, Alex. Right. This is it. This is the one. Right, where, where, there he is. You are now bigger than most planets Yeah, in, I a, am. in a Petri dish. Well, you know, planetary Petri dishes, right? Planetary you, Petri dishes. You are dishes. mine, tiny repulsor. <laughs> this is it. This is going to be the one. Furiously clicking, Alex pursues the repulsor. Mine! With, with great haste and seagulls, apparently. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You did it! And all I needed to do was think. There's oh, a lesson for you. And Thought helps. There you have it, kids. <laughs> Thought. Now, shall we move on? I believe we should. I feel like we've chilled out enough sufficiently to be able to take on the next game. So, if you are ready for it... I am ready. Will we, will we move on to Super Hexagon? Yes, my chilled out preparation has been done. Wax on, wax off, I'm ready. Right, let's do this. Okay, Alex, are you ready for Super Hexagon? I am, although I'm already scared by how grey and bleak it is. It's not usually this grey and bleak. I will tell you that for free. <laughs> this game is luring you in with greyness. 
not greatness, but greyness, so that it will give you a surprise. But I'm not going to tell you what that surprise is, Alex. I'm going to leave you to discover this game all on your one. Are you ready? I am ready. Press space to begin. I hope it's cake. I hope cake is a surprise. Right, okay, welcome to Super Hexagon. So, these are the options that you get given. Um, do you want to start, and what difficulty do you want to do? Goodness so, me, how so innovative. To change your difficulty, you go left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which apparently isn't a thing. I can be hard, harder, hardest. Or locked. I'm not good <laughs> enough yet. Those are my options. So do you want to play hard, harder, or hardest? Um, let's do hardest, and then once I'm crying, we can uh, take it from there. Alright, okay. Hexagonist, the hardest difficulty that we have access to. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready, Alex? I don't know how to play this game, yes. Good, hit space. Yeah. Ah! There you go, so left and right mouse keys to move around the hexagon. Oh, oh, I'm bouncing. Yeah, so you need the, you need the, yeah, you ready? Here we go. So what's going to happen is in a second you'll see some hexagons, and what you have to do is make sure that that little pointer is outside of the hexagon that you are being presented. All of the happy thoughts from before are gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that's it. Go! Oh, <laughs> That's this is so much more stressful. You lured me in with Osmos. Oh. Um, <laughs> come on, Alex, and again, and again. We, right, can get we got this. one more. We got one more. We got one, we more. Got one more in Let's me. do this. Here we go. This is going to be the one. Oh. This is the one. <laughs> you hit a new record that time. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down from hardest absolute possible. That was fun. That was um, that was good. Let's 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 try again so that I can make it past. Okay, here we one. go, here we go. Well, you seem you seem pleasantly nonchalant, Ooh. actually, at the challenge that has befallen you. Oh, that that's because I'm always you. angry. Oh. All right, well, I got where that reference is from. And I'm just ah. now starting to shake a little bit. I'm not going to kill you, but, you know, <laughs> some of your technology might start getting destroyed. Hooray, that's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Alex. We can get through this. We can get through more than 10 seconds. All right, come on. We can do this. We can get to 10 seconds. This is okay. going to be it. Five seconds. This is it. This is the difficult bit. This is the circular part. Oh, oh, he's done it. He's ah! only gone and got ten seconds. Now it's becoming even more trippy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I saw my life and my life was hexagons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alex. This is your time to shut. <laughs> well, you know what it is? It's encouragement. I've never had it before. Don't know how to handle it. Alright, should we go the opposite way? Yeah, then? Should we I try reckon. less encouragement? Yep, yep. More uh boot I don't camp. know. Boot, boot camp. camp, boot camp, okay. Right. Go. Again. Come on, Alex, you call that a hexagon. What I'm even sorry, is sir. this? That's not I'm even sorry, that's sir. Not a hexagon, that's a triangle. Yes, sir. You're meant to be more <laughs> oh, you see, that only got us to six seconds. Well maybe 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 you just weren't, you know, boot campy enough. I, I okay. didn't feel threatened. Do I need I to do I need to be so boot campy that it, it becomes military? Yeah, just pick up that baseball bat and um okay. hold it over my head. Alright, I've I've got the bat. Okay, right. And I'm positioning now. Okay. There we go. How do you feel? Um, uh, okay. Ow! Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, no, take ow. this! Stop. Take ow. that! Ow! Stop hitting this! I'm just <laughs> poetry! I'm actually okay. kind of getting into this now! Uh, and, <sighs> oh my god, it got us to eight seconds! <laughs> <laughs> So, Tough they, love. That's they have it, means. folks. Consumer advice. Uh, <laughs> if playing Super Hexagon, the best way to improve your score is to repeatedly hit yourself around the head with some kind of blunt instrument. Well, you only need one hand anyway, so there yeah, you go. There you go. You only ever need one hand, Alex. You only ever need one hand <laughs> to play Super Hexagon. That's very yeah. true. There you go, you see? Okay. You only get this level of, uh, of consumer advice here. Uh, there is nowhere else that you could ever go, ever, Fine. to get that level of- Oh, Jesus Christ! Alex, what has happened? I flourish on consumer oh. advice! <laughs> <laughs> oh. We found the secret and it's consumer <laughs> advice. Okay, alright. You ready? Right. right. Go. Again. The Apple Watch is not a very good purchase. Uh, if you want to go anywhere than shop in Asda, <laughs> Lidl is always easier to access than most other stores. <laughs> 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 This is genuinely helping me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that <laughs> we we found some kind of new technique for improving this, scores. This is why I'd be a terrible soldier. They'd be yelling at me to train, and all I'd want to know is where I can buy the best jeans. <laughs> Levi Strauss, of course. Because oh, where, el go. where else would you go? Actually, have you ever been to Beatty's? 
Beaties. Have you I ever haven't. been to a shop called Beaties? I haven't. They do really good jeans. It seems to be one of these places, though, that only exists in certain, like, certain areas in the UK. Well, we were discussing before recording, I never even had a Pop-Tart. No, it's true. So no wonder I can't play Hexagon. I've led such a sheltered life that corners are just strange and new to me. Well, what breakfast were you eating before? I'm assuming cereals because they're in a, a circular bowl. Round toast. Round toast. Like buns, you just you just ram them into you, the toaster. You were a prolific buyer of the Teletubby toast when that came oh. out. Oh, I can that and see a bit of tubby custard all over it. Oh, oh, oh I'll tell you what. Love a bit of tubby custard. Oh, I love a bit of tubby <laughs> custard. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the mornings, though. Oh yeah, you can't have it for in the evenings. What's wrong with that? You? Would be that would be weird, right? I definitely didn't do that ever. Yeah, Alex. Um, oh, so... Teletubbies discussion. Oh, that helps. Jesus. Okay, so talking <laughs> about the Teletubbies is also a way to improve your score. Okay, here we go. So I need Teletubby-based consumer advice. Okay. All right. You ready? Ready. Go. Handbags are always a good purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Buy hoovers as well, but only the ones that propel themselves with googly eyes. Um, you need a slide in your house, Alex. You need a slide in your house. <laughs> I, that failing was me. That consumer advice was top notch. If I was a Teletubby, I, I knew where I was going for the best stuff and how I was going to get it. And so how you were going to get there. Thank you well. for that. No problem. No problem at all. I'm, I'm happy that I fulfilled this niche in the, in the market of your life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, Super Hexagon is uh, is a nightmare. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that I've ever introduced you to this game. I feel stronger. I'm going to try one more. All right. Um, if only okay. to see the disappointment in your eyes. Are I'm you learning ready? to love it? Are you ready for the visualization again? Should we visualize? Okay, so visualize. Okay, visualizing. I'm so visualizing. you're at the top of a bobsled run. Yes. And all you have is your mum's best ironing board. It's yes. a favourite ironing board. But it though. doesn't matter because I'm so dedicated. Exactly. You're so dedicated and you know this is going to be a slick run. Yes. You're going for the Olympic winter gold. And I'm cool, so this is going to be a cool running. So that's and, what that's going to be. And also you know that at the other end of this bobsled run is just mountains and mountains of all the Pop-Tarts that you all could have pop -tarts had. All the Pop-Tarts that I could have had and as a child. Alex, the circular. Circular Pop-Tarts! Go! That's all I needed. Circular Pop-Tarts, fueling this new attempt at Super Hexagon. And it got oh, us to 457! Oh, new record! Oh, Yay! The game had almost started by the time I finished. The oh. pro circuit of this is going to be screaming at us, but we love it! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know there's a pro circuit of this game? I'm not surprised, because some people like pain for money. It's very true, and we call those people... MLG. <laughs> so, shall we move on to the next one? I'm not sure I can handle it, so yes, definitely. Here we go. So, Alex. Hello. Are you ready for the final challenge? I'm feeling I'm feeling stressed and sweaty, and, and, and you've been hitting me a lot in between the uh, games, so yes. Uh, well, I think it's time for, for a different type of game. Uh, okay, great. Well, I think you'll enjoy this one. Right. It's not as stressful as Super Hexagon, which is okay. always a good start. Okay. Um, this is, in fact, called Zenbound 2. Now, how much do you know about this? Um, I, I feel like I'm bound to get quite zen about it, but that's about it. You probably will. I haven't played this game yet, okay. so I have literally no idea what we're about to go through. Um, so, essentially, this could either be amazing or awful. Well, it's got trees. We trees. know it's got trees. Trees are a good start, I think, in any game. Um, that's actually how I base my reviews of games, uh, just on the tree content. Big fan of branching narratives, that kind of thing. Well, hey, see what you did there. <laughs> uh, also a big fan of the Hitman series, um, because that also invariably has a lot of trees in it. Not such a fan of Slender, though. Lots of trees, too scary. Uh, no, 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 his bark is worse than his bite. Exactly. Hey, hey we're punny. <laughs> Okay, so right. Alex, control is over to you once again. Hit play, and we will begin working out what the F we're meant to do. I'm already scared and confused. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, Let's see what we got. These are uh, these are bricks, actually, Alex. I think what we've got okay, here. Okay, that makes sense. And that there, that's rope. Oh yeah. And I think what we're meant to do is we're meant to set fire <clears throat> to the rope. Set fire to the rope. Yeah. So find a way to set fire to the rope. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Oh! Oh, it's a 3D brick. Oh, this this is way beyond my ability. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know there was a third dimension, and oh, wow, this is changing physics as I know it. Did we peak at Super Hexagon? Um, I, I peaked a long before Super Hexagon. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, you know what it is. What is it? I reckon we need to wrap this rope around every nail. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, oh there we go. Alex, oh, you've got it. Tactical genius. Bloody nailed it. See, you're all... You, oh, oh, you got to do it quick. Oh, no, no, no. It's because the rope removed itself from that other one that you put it on, you see? Ah. Oh. Uh, you see, so it, you, you were right. It has to be touching the whole time, if you know what I mean. Oh, um, yeah. So, yeah, I think we've got this now. Oh, we see, we've got a little length meter here, so we've oh, got to do no. it in a certain length. I see, and we're at 10 centimeters so far of 30 by the looks of things. So we've only got that much rope again to be able to get the rest of these weird nail things. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, right. Right. Oh, oh, the one, it's shining in the middle. Click the shiny thing. Shiny? Click, click the shiny. Oh, I think that's, that's a level ending nail. Is it a level ending nail? Oh, but it's so um, shiny. I, I may have wrapped it in so much rope that I can't actually get to it. <laughs> I I may have done a bad. I've done I've done the bad. I've done, <laughs> I've done I've, the bad. Oh yeah, yeah. You might be able to do it if you can just get it to like touch. Can you? We've got like three centimeters of rope left, and they're the only two things that we need to get. Come okay, on, Alex. Okay, okay. I've, we've I've got, got a plan. This. I've got a plan. All right. What's your plan? Plan is panic. Um, not yet. Uh, it. Oh! Uh, oh! <laughs> oh! oh! oh we're so close. <laughs> We've run out of rope. Right, right. But I've got a plan now. Okay, what's your plan? A plan is get the nail. Okay, good plan. I'm liking it. Trust me. I'm... That's that's all I need is your undivided, complete and utter trust. Okay. Well, I'm sure I can give that to you. I feel that we are in a situation where I I can give that to you. Alex Newell, you've got this. I have your trust. You have my trust. I'm a bit of a trust dictator, that's what I am. You're a trust dick what? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Oh. Oh. Have come we, up, have we attached? Are we wrapped? Yay! We've done it. That's it. Yeah! We did it! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> we have successfully wrapped up a set of stairs in a rope. Let's make a ropey stairway to heaven. Yay! Let's do it. Okay. All right, so we've completed that, and now the flowers blossom. Aww. Oh, isn't that Aww. nice? And now we complete the next level. Aww. Do you want to give it a go? Yes. Let's give it. A, let's give it a go. Oh wow! So this is a step up. Oh, oh, uh, oh I'm <laughs> very, very proud of you. For Way, that. <laughs> thank okay, you. okay. From the previous one. Um, so what we have here, in fact, Alex, is three steps. Three for steps. those who didn't get the joke. Goodness me. <laughs> um, so what we've got here, Alex, is a... What I've just realised what we've got, actually. We've got nails that have micro-explosives on them. Oh, yeah. And what we're doing is we're actually marking the areas that are going to explode on several staircases. I figured it out. I figured out what this game is about. It's what? clever and it's hidden. We're the Riddler. And what we're doing is, this is a Batman trap. We're slowly wrapping all of these micro explosives up, presumably for someone to walk over, uh, set off this rope, and suddenly all, no, no, that wouldn't work because then all of the stairs would be removed of paint. No, it would work because the paint is meant to be the guys. Paint is the guys that then means that Batman is going to walk on them because, it, let's face it, Alex, if you see an unpainted staircase, you don't walk on it, do you? No, you paint it. No, exactly. The first thing that you do is you paint it. And so Batman will be walking up to this set of stairs and he will go, oh, look, here's a painted set of stairs I shall ascend. And he'll step on the steps and then the moment he puts one foot on the steps, boom! And that's it. That's the trap. Speaking but now we've announced this on the internet, so it probably won't work. Uh, we'll have to start again then, because speaking of which, I also, I think I may have got this slightly wrong. Oh, what happened? <laughs> we ran out of rope. Ah. Oh, wow, yeah, we've only got 25 centimetres. Of... Wait, hold on, thinking about it. If we've got 25 centimetres of rope, this staircase must be tiny. Oh, yeah. This staircase will actually be the staircase for the borrowers. Do the borrowers ah. know who Batman is? Well, maybe that's the niche of this Riddler plan. Maybe oh. it's the fact that you're finally, you're thinking that no crime is too small. Is that true, Batman? Is that true? Is that or are true? actually some crimes too small? I reckon that he's decided to take it micro in the hopes of dodging the Dark Knight. Absolutely. I think you could be right there, actually. We've actually sussed a serious crime syndicate. I mean, I, hats off to the game developers, though. I mean, that's a pretty dense meta-narrative. I think a lot of players 
wouldn't necessarily notice that no. on the first playthrough. No, definitely not. Yeah. I think it's something that, it's one of these things that only the hardcore elite who play this game, like you and me. Obviously, yeah. Who have never played this game before, but we are now the hardcore elite. We would know. Very much so. And we have sussed through our uh, experiences and our gameplay uh, prowess. Especially, you know, toughened through Hexagon. Toughened through Super Hexagon. Lulled into a false sense of security by Osmos. <gasps> See? We did the it! The training is complete! Yeah! Who's the Zen Master? Shall we high five? I think we should high five. Straight up top. Boom! Ah! Uh. Uh. Manly. That's the most <laughs> exercise I've ever done. <laughs> right, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today, and thank you very much, Alex, for joining me on the channel. Well, thanks for having me on. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, if you want uh, to have a look at these games, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can uh, have a look on, uh, well, Steam or wherever else they're available, and uh, and have a go yourself, because I've thoroughly enjoyed playing them, and I hope you have too, Alex. Oh, definitely, it. and I'm going to need allies in the fight against all of the good heroes on a micro level, so, you know, all of you goo-based warriors and all of you hex hexagonal fighters you can join the cause definitely and on that note we're off to start a life of crime <laughs> uh, also don't forget to check out alex newell's uh, work do you want to sure that's one more time so uh, it's rusty quill gaming podcast it's available at rustyquill.com uh, itunes and pretty much every podcast directory there is so there you go. So check them out. Check us out. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel so far. And until next time, and until my next special guest, I will see you in the next one. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.